Hello everybody, welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I will be explaining to you the basics of Elementor Flexbot Container and how to use the various features. We'll be looking at the rules, column, direction, align item, align self, and also the flex wrap and no wrap, all these features and more. I will be explaining to you as simple as possible. Now, first things first, to be able to use the Flexbot Container, you need to set this feature to active. So let's go to our dashboard. So now on our dashboard, we'll go down to Elementor, now come down to your settings. Now, once this loads up, you go to the features. Now, on the feature, you come down to Flexbot Container. You make sure by default it is set to default. So, you make sure you set it to active. And once you've done that, you now scroll down and then you click on Save Changes. And once you've successfully saved the changes, you now go back to your uh, Elementor editing screen. And then when you refresh the page, you now see that there is an option called the container. And then this particular, when you click on this plus button, you now have a structure that looks something like this. So I'm going to show you how you can use the item direction, justify content, and align item to properly arrange items in your container irrespective of the item direction. That is, be it row vertical or column horizontal. I'm going to show you how you can play around and say, arrange your content, your objects, your items in the container properly. So before we start, let's just uh, let me create a screen for us, a working environment for us. So to do so, let's just say we select this structure and we select this, and then let's edit the container we selected. Um, Let's give it a height of um, VH 100 and then, or let's say, let's bring it to 80. Let's bring it to 90. All right, let's leave it at 90. Okay, now we've done that. Now let's go to the styling. Um, let's add a background image to it. So I'm going to set this image. All right, so we're going to set it to position, center, center. Uh, attachment scroll repeat no repeat and then we're going to set it the display size to to cover and then we'll go to the background overlay let's add some overlay to that so i'm going to set the color black and then the opacity i'm going to set it to 0 0.7 okay now let's click on this plus icon here and let's add uh, a heading so i'm going to add a heading uh, i'll title this heading um the creative arena and I'm gonna style this heading let's say, let's give it a color let's set the color to something like so okay and then let's um, increase the size the font size to uh, let's say 50 okay let's set it to 50 now the next thing we're gonna do is we'll click on this plus icon here to add another element let's add another heading here this time around let's set it to um, to header tree h3 let's set it to h3 and then let's um, set the color to the text color to white set the text color to white and then let's just add some content here let's say uh uh home for all creatives okay now that we've successfully done this now we're going to show you how you can work with the item direction so to do so let's go to the parent container this container we'll call this the parent container because within this container you can add multiple containers within it and such containers can be called the um the the sub containers or rather the child container depending on what you want to call it so now let's go to the layout settings now under the layout settings now let's come to the item section this section here now you see that there is an option called the direction now this direction there is the row horizontal then there is the uh, column vertical then there is the reverse uh, row reversed and then the column reversed so now by default okay if we should let's say we deselect this now you can see by default all uh, all containers are set to um column all container direction are set to column that is vertical that what the vertical actually means is that each item you add will now be after each other from the top to the bottom that is they now come follow each other up from the top to the bottom so let's say if we should duplicate this you can see it comes down duplicate it again it follows it from top to the bottom so now let's delete this and then now when you go back to this uh, let's say you set it to row uh, horizontal you can see each items here now they are arranged from let's say the, the left to the right that is uh, horizontally so now what this means is that if you should duplicate this item here now, let's see, you can see it adds from the left to the right. It keeps adding, adding, adding from the left to the right. That is what it does. So now let's delete this and let's go back here. Okay. 
now the, now first i'm going to show you is i'm going to show you how you can work with the the direction the justified content and then the align items for either in a situation whereby your your direction is set to row or in a situation whereby your direction is set to column so now let's see our direction is set to row for starters now as we set this direction to rows now to use the justify content to move uh, uh, your items in your container the movement is done from the left to the right let me show you now now if you set it to start as it is now let's say you set it to start nothing happens but if you set it to center you can see it moves to the right and then to the center in a horizontal manner it moves to the center in a horizontal manner and then when you hit it you click on end you can see it moves to the end of of, of the container in the horizontal direction so if you do this you can there are also other options like uh, the space between the space around you can see when you select this there's a space between space around and then the space evenly now so now take for instance you've done that you've moved this uh to the center you've just fired your content to the center and your direction is set to row now if you should if you want to use the align item in this situation what you this the align item does is that it can move your items once your direction is set to row from top to bottom now let me show you let's say you select it to start nothing happens but if you set it to center you can see it brings it to the center when you set it to uh, uh the end you can see it brings it to the end and then you set it to stretch this is what happens so now in this situation you can see now that once your action, once once your item direction is set to row, the justify content moves your content from the left to the right or right to the left, and then the item, uh, the aligned item, move your content from the top to the bottom, and bottom back up, depending on the as the case may be, depending on which you want. So the next is let's say we set our item direction to column vertical in this case and then we deselect this in this case now if you want to justify your content in this particular situation whereby your direction your item direction is set to column vertical what the justify content will do for you is it remove your content from the top to the center to the bottom and the bottom to the center to the top again as the case may be depending on how you want to use it now take for instance you set it to start nothing happens when you set it to center you see it moves it to the center when you set it to the end you see it moves it to the end now when you want to use the align item in this situation whereby your items uh, uh item direction is set to column is set to column vertical so when you select the align item what the align item does for you is it moves your item from the left to the right and from the right to the left again as you can see when you select start nothing happens because it's already here so now when you select center it moves it here when you select end it moves it here and then as and when you take it to the center you can see it moves it there you take it to the start it moves it to the start that is for the justify content and then for the align content it moves it this way it moves it this way and then it moves it this way again that is how it works all right so the next i'll be talking about is the aligned self so in a situation whereby you want to move an individual item within a flex container that is where the aligned self option comes into play and you can find this by selecting that particular item let's want to move this item this particular heading here so you can select it you edit it and then you go to the advanced settings and under the advanced settings you come down you see where it is written align self and then you see the option to take it to the start center end and then stretch it so now this particular uh, alignment can move an individual item depending on the direction the parent container is set to so in a situation where you want to move a particular item uh, from the left to the right that means the parent container the direction of the parent container is set to column vertical so but if you want to move it from top to the bottom then that means the the parent container direction is set to row horizontal let me show you now we'll go when we'll go back to our parent container we can see that our direction is set to column vertical so now to move this particular item here now let's say we we'll go down here and then we'll go back to the aligned self if we should click on start you see it moves it from it, it goes to this the beginning horizontally then we take it to the center it comes back and then you take it and it goes this direction so now in a situation where you wanna let's deselect it and revert back to the center to uh, the default now let's go back here uh, now let's go back to our, our container so now let's say we set our container to row horizontal in this way if we want to move this item here now let's edit the item and go to advanced settings and then when you go to item uh, align self if you, you click on start this is what happens it takes it to the top and then brings it to the center and then to the bottom that is what it does that is the difference you can notice when you're using the align self to move individual items within a flex container all right so the next i'll be covering is the the wrap feature now this feature only works 
when your item direction is set to row. Now, let me show you that. Um, let's say we duplicate this container. Now, when you go to the container uh, settings and then you come down here, you see the under the item, you see that it is set to column. So now if you should come down, this is the wrap we're talking about. So if you come down to the wrap, the first option here, you see this is the no wrap and then this is the, the wrap. By default, it is set to no wrap. And then when you set the wrap, you, let's take for instance now we... Um, let's set the wrap now now if you set the wrap here nothing happened this is because the item direction is set to column but if you turn the item if you change it to row you see that the wrap feature will, will not work in this situation the reason for that is because it uh, the items here have taken the space of the width of the entire container now let me explain take for instance now let's say we delete this and then we now duplicate this we we'll duplicate it again we duplicate it again you can see that the more we duplicate it the more the item in particular each of the item in particular their width gets reduced so that they all appear on the same row so now the essence of this item wrap the essence of this wrap now is so that we can make each of these containers to still take their individual width that is for them to appear on the row without them losing their individual width now let me show you now take for instance now we've duplicated all these and we can notice that the, each of the contents have been the width of each of the content have been reduced so now if we should go down to the wrap and let's say we set it to wrap you will see this is what we get now the contents have now been uh let's say the content is now separated into two by two row and then column the reason for this is that the the function of the wrap it enables each of the item maintain their individual width so now in this situation this width here has been maintained and the width of the next one has been maintained unlike before when the wrap content wasn't selected it was trying to make sure that all the content appear on the same row with, without reference to whether they lose their width or not but this case with the wrap content the items maintain their width so now as in, in the process of them maintaining their width the next content that couldn't fit its width couldn't fit to that particular row, it gets moved to the next row. That is a function of the wrap, as you can see. So now, okay, I, there's something else I want to show you. When you come down after selecting the, the wrap, you see there is this feature called the align content. What this feature does is it align, it helps you to align the content you've wrapped, all the content you've wrapped. It helps you to align them and it comes with several functions and um, rather several options there is the center when you select that you see all the content that you've wrapped comes to the center when you set it to flex start they all go to the top when you set it to flex and they all come down to the end and then you set it to a uh, space between there is one at the top and the one at the bottom and then there is a space around there is a space even as well now this align content only shows up whenever you select the wrap option if you should turn it off if you deselect it, it disappears. You select it, it comes again. So now, and there is something else I want us to understand with this wrap feature. This wrap feature works with the entire content. That is the parent content width. That is the 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 content in the in each container take precedent from the parent width of the entire container. Now let me show you. Let me explain this further. So let's say I delete all this. I delete this as well. And then I delete this as well. And then we'll come down to this content width. We'll now set the content width to, let's say we'll set it to a thousand. Let's set it to uh, a thousand. Now that we'll set it to a thousand, let's say we'll add an image. Let's add an image. Drag this image here and then we select this image. And now let's edit the image. Let's go to the image width and then let's set the image pixel to, let's say 300 pixel. All right, this is what we'll get. Now that we've set this image with the 300 pixel, remember that I said uh, the content, in order to wrap content, when you wrap content, it takes precedent with the mother container, with the width of the mother container. Now let me show you that. So let's say this particular image, which we've already set the, its width to 300 pixels. So let's say in a situation where we duplicate it and we duplicate it again, you can see it takes three it only appears three in a row now if we should continue duplicating it this is what happened and now breaks down the reason for that is that if you see remember we set this image is set to 300 pixel 300 pixel 300 pixel width now and the container itself is set to a uh, thousand pixel so 300 plus 300 plus 300 makes 900 and then we're left with uh 
100 pixel now and then there is the gap between elements which is 20 pixels so there is this 20 pixel 20 pixel here making it 40 pixels gone and then we're left with about 60 pixels so now we can still give gap between this and then bring it to 40 to 50 you see we'll go back to 40 let's go so we'll go back to 50 and then you see there is it's still on the same uh, it's still on the same row and then you increase it once you increase it it breaks now that shows you that that proves the point that I'm trying to explain to you that the for your content for you to be able to wrap your content to suit your needs you need to understand that the individual the width of the individual content take precedence from the mother container with the width of the mother container now, that is pretty much it about the flexbox container I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question you can drop it down in the comment section and if you're new to this channel please do remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next i drop a new content so bye bye